The White Knight universe is a different kind of Batman universe, and in this universe, we've just discovered who Jason Todd is, what he's been doing, and what he's going to do as the Red Hood. But he also came across a new individual, Gone, who is becoming a Robin in her own right. But since Batman doesn't exist, who's going to train her to become a proper Robin? That's where Jason comes in. This is Comic Storian. I basically read your favorite comic books to you in an audio drama, narrating what is happening and acting out the characters. I have a lot of fun doing it, and we remove the text to prevent copyright problems. Today, we're going to be covering White Knight Red Hood, issue number two. And if you want to know how we got here, I'll link all the previous episodes of this White Knight adventure down below, because it's basically White Knight Batman Beyond with Red Hood involved. It's awesome. You definitely should check out all this stuff if you haven't yet. So, let's get into issue number two. So the training began, with Jason teaching her how to become her own Robin. Time passes and Gon invites Jason to her father's apartment. It's there that she offers him a gift. Jason unwraps it in surprise, staring at a red helmet. Just a memento of the night we met. Call it a thank you present, Gon tells him, explaining that it will work much better than his old red hoodie when they take down Shriek. But Jason shakes his head. Gon, I can't do this. Not again. He tells her, thinking back to when Bruce made him a Robin. He puts the helmet down, and he tells her that he might have a chance at a life now. I can't screw this up by putting on a mask again, he tells her. Tears beginning to well up in Gon's eyes as she asks about Shriek. But Jason heads for the door. Listen, I'm going to go get us some dinner, and then we'll talk about this, okay? He heads out to Big Belly Burger, returning quickly. When he returns, he discovers that Gon is gone. Her father's ancestral bow along with her. The red helmet sitting on the table with a note. Robin never gives up. Gon is moving through the city using her grappling gun, but she is terrified of heights, pressing her back against walls, breathing heavy. Jason's mind is racing. He can't let this happen again. Not like this. There's a child going through the city trying to stop crime. She's already arrived at Shriek's apartment, and she slowly opens up the window, slipping inside, drawing her bow. Surprise, Shriek! I'm completely alone, she says with a surprise. But a shockwave hits her, throwing her to the ground. What does a guy have to do around here to get some peace and quiet? Shriek says as he steps out of the shadows, armed with his sonic gauntlets. But Gon is already moving, hiding quickly. I've been waiting for this for days. You think I haven't noticed you tailing me? Shriek asks, touching something on his armor, allowing him to cancel out all noise except for Gon's breathing. This neighborhood is my home, and now you've ruined it, he tells her, explaining that he just wanted to live in peace, but now he'll have to destroy the block so that no one knows that he was there. Gon rushes out, picking up a piece of rebar, smashing his gauntlets, but he backhands her across the room. It's a shame. It was a really nice place to live, he says as he picks up the discarded weapon, brandishing it over his head, preparing to strike. But a grappling line wraps around his arm, pulling tight. I can tell. No one locks their doors around here. They let you just walk right in, Jason says, looking at Gon. Ground game, he shouts. She rushes forward, tackling Shriek hard, slamming him into the ground. Are you okay? Gon, listen to me. We have to. He begins to tell her, but she shakes her head. All I did was listen to you. She motions around the room, explaining that all Jason showed her how to do was hurt people and break things. This isn't me. This isn't why I chose the costume, she says as she sinks to her knees. If we don't finish this, people will get hurt. We can't give up. It's not what we do, Jason tells her, but Shriek is back, hitting the pair with a sonic wave that knocks them apart, crumbling the building and sending them into the club nearby. He said he's going to blow up the block, Jason, Gon says as she helps him to his feet, and Jason nods. The dial on his chest. It's his power source. We got to destroy it, he shouts. She nods, telling Jason to distract Shriek. So he nods, putting on the helmet. Hey, Buckethead, you know I got to thank you. I wasn't sure I remembered how to deal with loudmouths like you, but I gotta tell you, it's like riding a bike, Jason shouts. Shriek looks behind him as Gon sails forward on her bike, using it to sever Shriek from his power cables. East Backport is my home, Shriek, so take your stupid crime somewhere else, she shouts, rushing forward, jabbing a screwdriver into the power source on his chest. The electricity arcs through the both of them, blasting them apart. Jason pushes through the rubble, shouting for Gon. But he finds Shriek instead, picking up the heavy cabinet over his head, preparing to end the villain. But it's Gon's voice that stops him. He rushes over to her. Hold on, Gon, you're okay. He whispers as he cradles her. D 
Did I do it? Did I save people? She whispers weakly. He nods. Yeah, you did it. You're a hero. He left her with the paramedics, knowing that she'd be better off without him in her life. And it was a short time later that he was only trying to break into someone's car, but he looks in the windshield, seeing Batman standing behind him. You know, I should have known better. But why didn't you come? Jason asks, and Batman says nothing. Why didn't you stop it? You could have stopped it! You could have at least looked for me. Jason chokes, tears beginning to stream down his face. You never even looked for me! He screams, turning around, and Batman isn't there. It's only in his mind. The night is quiet, and everything is in his mind. He reaches for the Red Hood helmet, using it to smash through the windshield of the car. Getting in, revving the engine, escaping into the night. The story's over, and Jason looks up at Gon. That's a lot to process, Jason. She tells him, turning away, looking out the window of her martial arts studio. Why didn't you tell me what you've been through? What the Joker did to you? She asks. He nods and he apologizes for what happened to her. And she turns back. I had three broken ribs and a concussion, you know. In the hospital for a week. I had plenty of time to be angry with you. But she tells him that when she came home, the neighborhood rallied around her. And she learned that there were other ways to help her community. I don't need anything from you. But if you need me to accept your apology so that you can move on, then I accept it. She looks at the helmet that she gave him and asks if he's planning on using it to help Wayne. But Jason shakes his head, telling her that Bruce is being stubborn by fighting against the GTO and powers. Someone has to stand up to them. Gon tells him, I want to help him, I do. But I don't think I have it in me anymore. Jason tells her and Gon nods looking up. I know. That's why I'm going with you. She says as she reaches for her father's bow. Besides, you're going to need all the help you can get. She tells him in Jason's size. I haven't done anything like this in years. I don't even know where to start. He admits. She reaches into the drawer, pulling out the old grappling gun that Jason gave her. It's easy. Start with the basics. She says as she hands it to him. And that concludes the Red Hood spinoff of the mainline White Knight book. So I'm assuming White Knight issue number four or five, wherever we left off, is going to be coming out next. And if you want to know when that's going to happen, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. That way you know. We put out nearly everyday videos about your favorite superheroes, independent comic books, and the world of everything. Basically, we cover it all here. So make sure you track it by hitting that notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time right here at Comic Story.